a quarter to 11. I know, it's late. I should have been working two hours ago, but... Man, I don't got no rules in my life. And that's the way to survive. That's how you live. No rules. So what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start cutting these risers. See behind me that riser? Let's get them all cut. And once we get those on, then we can continue on to, I don't know, maybe I'll do nothing after that. But I got to have at least one rule. I got to I gotta get busy somehow or how am I going to have a video? So let's get to work. All right, we're starting to look like stairs now. About four or five of them put on. And I'm going to go cut the rest of them, get those on, replace those two top steps. It is, let's go out here a second, let me show you. Oh, of course it quit. It is extremely windy today. And i got to work under this thing. Look at them widow makers up there. I don't like that. But a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Look at that, 72 degrees and rising. And what do we got here? We got a Miss Rooster Doodle. Yes, we do. Yeah. I'll be glad when I can get this place cleaned up for once and for all. Okay, so I'm going to go cut the rest of these risers now. When I put these on, sometimes i got to pull the steps loose. So I can, you know, pull these forward or back. So i got a little bit overhang there. Putting these risers on does kind of narrow up the step a little bit, but it's still plenty of uh, plenty of tread to step on, and it's also making them a lot stronger. So maybe now Rooster won't be afraid to go up there, but I, I really don't want her going up here anyway. But we'll see what she does. She doesn't. Well, she has learned to climb up to like this third step, so she can jump on the bed. So we'll see what happens.
got all the risers on. Now there's some gaps in some of them. That's because some of these boards uh, were bowed a little bit. And there is a little give in the middle. So I will come around to the other side of the stairs. I will attach a, uh, like a cleat back there where those will pull down and uh, then you won't have this, this bowing in the middle. Can't have that. So this took a little bit longer than I had planned, but those steps up here are replaced. I got these cut. So we no longer have the two by fours that were the temporary stairs. And everything's pretty solid, man. They're pretty, pretty nice to go up now. And it is hot up here. Woo! It's 83 degrees out right now. And uh, it's a warm one. It's a little darker than I would want it, but it, it looks nice. And it, well, that's a wet coat also, so it may dry up a little bit. That definitely does not match. So I need to find a stain that's close to that. I've already stained it, so I can't put linseed oil on that. It wouldn't come out the same anyway. Uh, I may just paint that the same color as the steps. I don't know, I, I, I don't think that would look good painted. So, tomorrow, we're all set, ready to do the railing, do the inside here with the uh, rebarb, like I've got up there. We're going to do that here. Uh, got all these done. I need to get the backs on them to keep them from pushing in when your toes hit them. And I'll get a little caulk and go, you know, fill them in where there's some of them that are cracked. A little crack showing but that's all right my the, the trouble i was having with that it was a big four by eight sheet of plywood and my hand saw my circular saw it won't cut a straight line to save my life it just won't it's junk it needs to go in the trash with the table saw so i ended up uh cutting maybe like 18 inches at a time and then run it through the table saw and some of them aren't too straight That's all right. We'll uh, we'll 
time I'm done, you won't see any of them cracks. And boy, did it make it dark on the other side where I'm going to be put in the closet. And I should have enough plywood left to finish the closet. So I, I really don't want to have to go buy another sheet. So there's the steps. Almost done. I'll get them painted up here in the next few days. But I don't want to paint until I've got all these little cracks sealed. And if I should have put wood glue down before I screwed down the steps. But like I'd said before, these may not be the permanent steps later on. I may want to go with the really nice wood on them. So it don't really matter. And you know what? I like creaky steps. Creaky steps. Yeah, makes you gives it that lived in feeling. And uh we're just gonna call it a day. It is very warm. I am very tempted to put the air conditioning on. I went and put shorts on. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. That's awful that's awful dark. It doesn't match anything in here, but there's no going back now. But I think that'll lighten up a little bit when it dries. Uh yeah, that stuff's hard to get out. It took me forever to get that lid off that thing. I had to get uh, channel locks out. Yeah, right there to open that. It's one of them push down and turn. Well, when you got bad carpal tunnel, you can't get stuff like that apart or off. All right, guys, I'll probably go ahead and throw this one up just to show my progress. Tomorrow will probably be the more interesting uh, video. And I really want to get this this right here all closed in. I was able to still cut the step without having to tear anything apart right there. So that went well. Uh, all right, let's get this thing up there.